All right, so this is going to be the start of the two-story um, house plan that we're beginning. And the shape of that two-story house, um, the first floor is gonna look like this. So it's important that you get these measurements um, all in your head or write them down or take a picture of this uh, screen so that you have these measurements because when we start laying out the walls uh, in the program called Chief Architect, when you start building the walls, we have to make them all at the sizes that are given here. All right, that's the first, the first step in completing this project is making sure that the first floor sizes are all the same. And I'm gonna go through now uh, the process that will help you get all these measurements to the correct size, okay? So I'm going to pull up Cheap Architect. We're gonna start a new plan. And we are gonna use an exterior wall. Uh, actually, first I'm going to set the terrain. A terrain is just a piece of property. Um, and you do that by clicking on the terrain pull down menu. You go create terrain perimeter. And this is this basically a yard that you've created. And we're gonna start by making this yard 150 feet long by 150 feet wide. So if you click on the top edge, it should give you a measurement right here. I'm gonna change, click on that and change that to 150 feet. Now there is a foot symbol. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a foot symbol, the apostrophe after the 150. So if you, if you delete the whole thing and type it in, if you don't put in a symbol, it's gonna give you 150 inches. So you have to make sure that you put in the foot symbol. No, it's not good. It's like my computer froze. Check, 150. And we're gonna go the opposite direction. Hopefully it's still recording. Uh, we're going the opposite direction. We're gonna go click on the edge here, click on this measurement. And we're gonna change it to 150 also. So now, as you see, my terrain is much bigger. It's 150 feet by 150 feet. Now, uh, we're gonna start to build the shape of that house that, um, that I just got done showing you. So I'm gonna use an exterior wall, straight exterior wall. And I'm gonna start in the top left corner and I'm gonna kind of go around, um, around the house clockwise and zoom in a little bit. And I want you to follow the approximate size um, that I'm doing here. And it's just gotta be within a couple of feet. It doesn't have to be real terribly accurate at this point. So just uh, if you can get within a couple of feet, that would be great. So I'm starting, oh, I can't even see it. Starting this one at about 15 or 16 feet going down about 15 or 16 feet. I'm going over 20 feet. Huh? All right, so I'm gonna continue with my exterior wall I'm going from this corner. I'm going up about five or six feet. I'm gonna go over seven or eight feet. I'm gonna go down about 15 or 16 feet in seven or eight feet, down 13 or 14 feet, over about 12 feet, down five feet, over 10 feet, 
up five feet, over about 12 feet, up about 10 feet, and then over until I get in line with this edge of this wall. And it should up to finish. Okay, so it should look something like that. Uh, general shape, the sizes are not exact, but uh, we're pretty close. So now here's how you get the exact sizes. We're gonna go to the pull down menu tools. And we're gonna go down to, I take that back, the CAD pull down menu, down to dimensions. Sorry, down to automatic dimensions and click on auto exterior dimensions or it's a shift A. So auto exterior dimensions, click. And that's gonna give us all of our dimensions on the outside. So here's how we adjust the measurements here to match the assignment. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna work my way around. And by the time I get down to the bottom, this last wall will already take care of itself. So I'm gonna get my arrow key. The first measurement I'm gonna deal with is a 16 foot six. It's supposed to be 15 foot 10. So in order to make this measurement change, we've gotta move this wall. So what you do is you highlight this wall, you click on this measurement. And as you click on that measurement, it allows you to adjust the measurement. I'm gonna change it to 15 foot 10 inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue going around the entire building, changing uh, the measurements as I go. I'm going to highlight the next wall in line, and I go back to the previous measurement. This one's supposed to be 15 feet. Enter. I click on the next wall. I go back to the previous measurement. This is supposed to be 20 foot 6. Next wall. Previous measurement, I know you can't see it, it says six foot right now. Five, six. Next wall, previous measurement, seven foot eight. Next wall, previous measurement. Six. So this one is sixteen foot four. Sixteen foot four. Next wall, previous measurement, twenty seven feet. Next wall. This one is going to be 13 foot 2 inches. Next wall, and this one is going to be 5 feet. Don't forget to put in the symbol, the apostrophe. Next wall. This goes here. This should be 12 foot. This wall is going to be 5 foot. This wall is going to be 10 foot 10 inches. This wall is going to be 5 feet. This wall is going to be 12 feet. Should leave us with two foot two left over. The last one is going to be nine foot six inches. So check nine foot six inches. That's good. Nine foot six. All right, so the exterior walls are now all set. And we don't, we don't want to adjust any of these walls anymore. Um, they are all set. Even when we start putting in interior walls, we want to leave the exterior walls in the, the positions that they're in. So now let's start putting in 
interior walls. I can start with. Start with an interior wall from this point. Straight across. This corner. Then I'm going to change to a green divider. This corner here. This corner here. This corner to here. I'm going to label these rooms. This one up here is going to be, you can just double click inside of it with your arrow key. This one is a breakfast nook. This one's going to be the kitchen. Dining room will be located down here. This will be our entryway. Main part here is the living room. Before I go any farther with the labeling, I'm going to set some interior sizes now. I'm going to start here. Uh, this is going to be our master bedroom. And I don't want to adjust this wall going across here. It's locked into the exterior wall here. And so if I move this, I jeopardize moving some of these exterior walls. And we already have those exterior walls set uh, the sizes that we want. So I'm going to start on the bottom wall here. And if you click where it's uh, in this area here, um, you'll notice that the measurement arrowhead goes from the wall here, but it goes through the wall here. Well, that's something that we don't want because I can't, if I put in this measurement, it's not going to tell me the size of this room. It's the size of the room plus the thickness of this wall. So here's our next step. We have to go to the edit pull down menu, down to default settings, click on the arrow in front of dimensions, Scroll down to temporary dimensions, hit edit. I want you to check mark locate wall surface and locate both wall sides. So I'm changing from number two and three to number one and four. Click OK, click done. And now watch when I click on this, notice that the arrowhead is now inside the room instead of through the wall. So this measurement here is going to be nine foot six inches. I click on this wall. This measurement is going to be six. This wall, this one is going to be four foot four. Okay, so our verticals are done. I'm now going to click up here. I'm going to click on this wall. This one is going to be five foot six. This one is going to be Two foot five. So it's two apostrophe five. This one is going to be three foot four. And I'm going to take this and adjust it. And then I'm going to click on this top wall here. Set this measurement to six foot. Okay. Um, this is going to be our master bedroom, and you notice there's no way to get into the master bedroom. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break out this little piece of wall here. So up here on the top, we have what is called the break wall tool. Click on that and I'm gonna click on this intersection. And this intersection puts a little, little lines in between them. So now I just grab my arrow tool, click on this little segment with the delete key on my keyboard. And that's how I'm going to door here and be able to get into my bedroom that way. So let me finish uh, giving some sizes here, uh, or giving some room labels here. This one here is going to be the master bedroom. This one is the master bathroom. This one is just a bath. And I've got two little closets, and I'm not going to label those right now. Those are the closets. And there is the first floor complete. So I'm going to put on a, a deck or a back patio. And to do that, I'm going to get a straight deck railing from this corner. I'm going to go up three or four feet. I'm going to go up at an angle and go across to the master bedroom. I kind of don't like this angle right here, so I'm going to adjust it. So when we make this, uh, this deck, we want to make sure that we want to make sure that we don't go all the way to the end of the, uh, of the, of the wall here. And we want to put an angle in this thing just so we have a, a place to put the, uh, the stairs that go down. And let's take a look. I'm going to go to the perspective, perspective full overview. See, so far, this is what we've created. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on uh, the stairs for the, for the patio. So I'm going to give draw stairs. I'm going to put my mouse right at the midpoint. I know it's at the midpoint when I get the triangle. I'm going to pull my mouse perpendicular away from my step or my wall, and I'm going to click, hold, and I'm going to pull my steps back towards, back towards the, uh, the deck. It opens up automatically, and now let's take a look at that. And there's the steps that lead up to the deck. Okay. So we're going to pause there, and I'll create another. Uh, video showing the second floor.